Moon Tarot. This is going to be for Gemini. How are you, Gems? I hope that everything is just abundant for you on this beautiful day. Um, we're just going to get into your energy, okay? We're going to do the no contact read first, of course. Then the second portion of the video is going to be your energy pull, okay? So let's get into the no contact read, and then we're going to hit a little mini commercial, and then tap into your energy read, okay? All right, so let's just get into it and see what we have for you. Let's see what we have for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, thank you, Angel Guides. All the information is down in the description box. If you want to if you want to schedule an appointment or whatever information you want from me, everything about me will be in the bio. Oh my God, I'm stumbling over my intro, can't get it right. <laughs> These are all general reads and not personal ones, so just take what resonates and throw out the rest. So let's see here four gems. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Let's see the energy for gems. What's the energy for gems? Like something is off here. Hmm. Gemini's definitely see like you're having some kind of positive energy crisis, okay, with the magician being in reverse here. Like, I just feel like there's a lack of anything positive within the magician in reverse, okay? I do feel like there is some kind of words that this person is spreading, the things that this person is saying has created the foundation of this relationship so they have planted seeds against you and it just became this relationship became that now i do feel like there's mutual feelings here you have the two of cups okay but i do feel like there's mutual feelings you know towards you and that and you towards them but i just feel like there's so many things here that this person has said that really took hold and really start growing it's like planting a seed and having that bloom and nurturing that seed, that negativity and having that bloom. And now you're going to have to do the work if you want to um, work this out with this energy, you know, to turn everything from negative into positive. I do see communication with the queen of swords here. So this is good. We also have the moon as well in reverse. We also have the judgment as well in reverse, okay? Like I said, there is the magician. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. This is the world in reverse as well. This is Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio at times. And then this is the two of cups for those of you. So I also see Aries and Libra energy here, Major Arcana, and then you have Pisces here. The Queen of Swords is ruled by Libra energy. So take what resonates. For who that resonates with, that's a confirmation for you that you are meant to be here. Um, so communication is coming into this no contact situation. I do feel like whatever happened between you and this person already took hold, already took seed. I feel like the mistake has already been made within the situation. I feel like you have been seeing the signs or you have been, you know, feeling like, there was so many red flags within the situation, but you refuse to see because now the moon is in reverse. Like you didn't listen to your heart. You didn't listen to your intuition. And a lot of you have dived into some kind of depression, you know, stress because of the situation, having a lot of anxiety. You just felt like your environment was off. You felt like someone was plan planting something behind your back or keeping secrets about a certain situation here. And you had to listen that into that intuition because your angel guys was, was actually giving you the messages, actually showing you the messages. Now, there's a decision that hasn't been made permanently because I feel like you still want to talk to this person. 
and you want to hear them out. This is also about balance. You know, Libra energy is about balance. So this is how you're approaching the situation. So you want to have a conversation. You want to talk to this person or this person wants to talk to you. We're going to dive into this person's energy and see what's what, you know, later on. But this is your overall and this is what I'm picking up right now. So you're showing me a communication. You're showing me conversation. You're showing me that what, what has happened has already happened. Take hold. Whatever you were feeling within the situation has already taken hold. So you were right within the situation. But you haven't made a decision to cut this person off or make this a permanent situation because you're waiting for clarity. You're waiting for closure. You're waiting for that conversation, that communication, okay? And I feel like the Holy Spirit within that judgment as well is like, again, I love seeing the judgment in, re in reverse because... It's like the Holy Spirit knows more than we do, right? And sees more than we do. So I feel like there is like a little a little turn, a possibility for a turn. And they're giving this person the benefit of a doubt to do the right thing. And it's like, you're going to have this to make this decision so they can support you. Like whatever you do, they're going to support you. Like your guides are going to support you here. So I like that energy. Again, negative vibes here. I feel like there's some kind of bitterness here as well. I feel like this person is just not taking the care of themselves. And I feel like this person is not taking care of you. And this is really an energy that can also represent the hospital or feeling ill or feeling sick because of a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of planting negative seeds upon you, okay? So because of their mouth and because of their energy every day around you, your, your spirit can't take this. Your physical body is feeling this as well. There's an incompletion here, so this no contact energy is coming off as something that is not going to be permanent because there's unfinished business for you in this energy. I'm also seeing the two of cups here, mutual feelings, okay? Like you guys want to get back together. So whatever you are going through right now, Gems, I'm not seeing like you want to end this relationship with this energy. Not quite yet, all right? So let's see what we have. What's the energy? For gems. Ooh, something flipped. What is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, snake energy. <laughs> uh, I just feel like a lot of you might be having dreams about snakes. Okay. You feel like this person have been lying to you or trying to get you ill or trying to trap you within something here. Um, I feel like within this energy, it says fertility as well, that a lot of you, it's just coming up as a really like a feminine energy. And this might be something that this person is trying to take advantage of within your situation. I'm also seeing some form of addiction or drinking. Okay. Like they drink too much here. They're a drinker. And there's a lot of shadow work. So this is this is something that you are just afraid of. You know, this is your nightmare coming to the surface. I feel like a lot of you are doing some kind of spiritual work, not knowing that this your higher self wanted this spiritual work, like wanted you to have some kind of mirroring work done, some kind of shadow work done, which, you know, this is also your twin flame coming in and trying to like, you know, take the ground under your feet or move the ground under your feet. I don't know what that state is, but it's like things got a little bit too comfortable and you need to learn. This is all about learning within this life and getting better and having your soul, your soul evolve. So you're going through a lot of healing from situations that you just didn't want to experience like your soul was trying to avoid and the be the best person to show you this is yourself by mirroring yourself as well so this is your other side you know your other side you the opposite side of you so this person kind of that you're dealing with favors you um might even look like you like you could be siblings or you you're, you could be related in some way um, but they're your opposites. So, hmm. it's like you're trying to get out though, because I'm seeing like the snake is like trying to get out. 
I feel like you're on your way to some kind of new beginning here within the snake energy, like success, but I feel like you are tangled up in some kind of energy right now. It's like you're almost there. And then we have divine time and is at hold as well within temperance. The temperance is Sag energy for those of you. So it says wrong time, right time, wait. Okay. It's like something has to be together here for this to happen. So you have to wait. You can't do this on your own. You can't make things happen on your own. I feel like a lot of you are very impatient and you're learning about this. You're learning that discipline of trusting and letting go, trusting in the universe, trusting within the divine God, divine timing. Like everything is happening on time. Like everything is supposed to be where it's supposed to be. And you're having to learn that. Change, trans, what is it? Transformation, newborn, okay. Scorpio energy for those of you. The butterfly energy. <sighs> hmm. I'm just getting like a new beginning for you, honestly. I mean, something is coming in. Look at this, a second chance, roll the dice. I'm seeing something about meeting someone new. This is going to be on the streets, okay? I'm also seeing your intuition about something that you just know is off. Like, I feel like you're gonna be meeting someone. This could be the, pre the, the a new person or a past person. You're going to bump into this person on the streets. It's like you're giving this person a second chance, but you just know it might not work out. The angels are saying, like, listen to your intuition on this. Like, if you feel it's not going to work out, you're already planting a seed for destruction. So you want that commitment. You want that, you know, devotion. You want this person to give you that offer and commit to you you know you want to have this person give you that promise that oath that they're not going to do this again whatever this is there's no contact energy you guys are already looking like you're tied together too within the two so this could be someone that vowed themselves to you this could be someone that you married as well Tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so you have the seven, uh, not the seven, oh my God, the page of swords, you have the high front, and then you have the eight of swords energy. So yeah, this looks like some, some form of relationship that is deciding to end or someone is telling you to end this i just feel like there's a lot of gossip here a lot of jealousy as well um this person is act like they don't understand or they don't get you i feel like it's because you're becoming stronger you're becoming um, more alert more awake you're taking yourself out of any kind of destruction or um restriction or being trapped or being lied to your heart chakra is activating again like you're freeing yourself from this situation and they don't have any more power. I feel like there's some kind of codependency there with this energy. Like this choice to break up. I don't feel like this was a choice that they agreed with. But I don't feel like they felt this. I feel like they felt guilty too with what happened in moon energy within Pisces. This is also Taurus energy for those of you who are dealing with a Taurus. But they feel really guilty about what happened within the moon because they can't fight you on this. They can't fight you on this. It happened and they're just letting it end. You know, I feel like people are telling this person to let you go. I'm also seeing the five of pentacles, the four of swords and the queen of cups. Yeah, there is love here. You have a cancer vibes. You have the break. You have the five of pentacles where you're dealing with a lot of um, trials and tribulations. Okay. 
dealing with a lot of trials and tribulations on your own. You're dealing with a lot of loss. You're dealing with a lot of um, hardships. Whether this is financial, you're dealing with this house on your back, you're dealing with these kids on your back, you're doing it all by yourself. Um, and this person abandoned you here within this energy. Like I'm getting like this abandonment situation within this energy, like they walked away from you. They were very cold as well. They didn't give you the clarity, the, the closure that you needed to move on or to be able to move on. This is why you need the communication. This is why you need balance. Um, I feel like you're going to get yourself out of this situation, but you would love to have that conversation because you are Gemini. You know, you just love to know. Let's hear this person out. And I feel like that that's what the Queen of Swords is. You're going to try to be as sensitive as, as possible to this person's energy and try to, you know, communicate with this person as well. But I just feel like it's more about just hearing what this person have to say. You just don't want to think about, I wonder what this, this person wanted to say. You know, I just feel like you want to just get that out of the way. I'm also looking at you as the queens. So obviously you are the empress energy. Because you're showing up as someone that is so ready for love. So ready for a commitment. But this person is very dark or something is going on there with their spirituality or not believing in spirit not believing in anything and they're being really negative towards you they just feel like you know what you're here to live and live it up and then pass away and that's it you, there's nothing after that <laughs> so and this could be a bummer for those of you who are definitely tapped into spirituality so Tell me more. Wow. Yeah, you don't trust this person. Wow, the sun. Well, the, the, I'm about to say the sun. Uh, you have the strength in Leo and also Angel Michael showing up here within the strength, okay? You also have the... Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess in reverse. So there is something here. You know, a lot of you could have be still be married or a lot of you could still have a house in your name or still have some form of connection where it's a contract like children as well. There's something there that this person is like, or this is the friendship. This is the friends, the family, like someone know each other here. Like there's still a connection here that they want to be able to keep healthy within this connection. I'm also seeing the strength here. So it's like Angel Michael is pushing you to kind of have strength because this is your energy to kind of like nurture this. And I feel like this is why you are coming up within the Queen of Swords energy, trying to like, you know, communicate and reach out and trying to get that clarity. Like, I don't feel like you're stalking this person, but you are trying to find out like what really happened here because the high priestess is in reverse where you're not very quiet or silent for me. Um, I just feel like you are definitely trying to find out the truth. Okay. Within this energy, within cancer here, cancer, Leo, does this mean something to you? you you're trying to do everything in your power before you decide to walk away to make this work you have scorpio energy in the death look at that you know the change <laughs> you have the knight of swords and then you have the nine of swords in the upright so there's a lot of fear here there's a lot of fear a lot of depression i mean i feel like you're going to get yourself out of it and get yourself value back and your confidence back within the eight but I'm seeing like this is a constant vibration of depression, stress, and anxiety that you're going to have to work through. And I feel like this person gives you that anxiety because what happens is that there's an end in here and you're moving on with your life within this death and there's a transformation. And then there's this person coming out of nowhere, coming towards you with a whole bunch of energy and like they're right about the situation. They're not really hearing you out and communicating with you the right way. And so it brings a lot of anxiety towards you. And this is why you place the break, the break, protecting your mental health here within the four of swords energy, because this person is a little bit too much for you. Okay. This is what I'm getting here. Ooh, 
and this person is just acting like, you know, I just feel like they that you belong to them. This explains the two of cups. They're still looking at you as a peer, even though this is a no contact read. So you guys are not speaking right now, not communicating, but they still look at you as someone that they're with. I feel like this person is, is not processing the split or what's going on here, okay? Interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's see the connection. The connection here. What's the connection? Wow, separation is on the horizon. If it hasn't even happened yet, it's already happened. Uh, so a lot of you are not communicating, but there is still something like, okay, we're still together. We're just not communicating. I haven't heard from this person in a week. Um, I don't know the status, you know? So but there is a separation on the horizon. Hmm. You're having financial matters. You feel like this person has tricked you into something within the five of pentacles. You feel like they used you. You feel like they left you, abandoned you here in the Five of Pentacles. You feel like they were cold. Again, leaving you out in the cold here. You know, watching you, like, like you're watching the process on the outside, looking in, like you don't understand this. And this could be their family too that is like trying to keep you on the outs. Like they already made their choice because they're family. They're their family, right? So you feel awkward, like within the moon energy, you feel awkward. Like this puts you, this person put you into an awkward position. Okay. And then you have getting to know each other. Wow. So you feel like you're starting over from scratch. You feel like you lost everything. You lost everything that you have built within this connection. And you feel like you're going to start over from scratch. Like you're wasting more time. You're giving this person more time. Tell me more. Ooh, past life relationship is also making its way. So this is unfinished business, and this is someone from your past. This could be someone that you grew up with. This could be someone that you had some form of life with before in a past life. But I've just seen like there's some kind of karmic energy that needs to be balanced out anytime a past life situation comes in so that you guys can either move forward from a karmic situation that you have been that you've successfully lived through. Or it's a karmic partnership. And a karmic partnership is is that, you know, there was something created in a past life for me. Um, or in the past, if it created in this life. But you're trying to correct it so that you guys can move forward. You cannot move forward over the wall, over to the next level, unless you correct this situation. Retreat. Wow. So I'm seeing like you need to definitely take yourself away from some kind of noise. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. So you have a lot of people trying to be involved in your situation or trying to manipulate this person to stay from you. There's a lot of gossip here. This is what I picked up earlier. And you need to be alone. Just you two. So this is a problem too because you guys are attracted to each other and you haven't found someone like this. You haven't found someone that you connect with on this level. Like you can talk, you can sit, you can have a conversation, you can cuddle, you can do anything, hang out like best friends and it's just cool. You just have a lot of chemistry, a lot of things in common, okay, or you feel like you do, okay, when you guys are together. It's like everybody else goes away when you're together. It's like, it's only you two, but there is some force of energy that is trying to take you, take you to a place that you're just like, you don't want to be with this person anymore, or there's just some form of separation on the horizon here. Okay, so let's just see. I wanted to tap into this person's energy as well, and I wanted to 
clarify some cards. This is a no contact read. So we wouldn't have it any other way, right? We wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that, that message. So let's see what they got solo. Let's see what they got solo. It is so hot. I thought it was going to rain today because we had that... We had some kind of effects from the storm, but the storm didn't come here in Atlanta, okay? We didn't get anything. Probably today, we got a little, probably some patches, but I don't know. It looks pretty blue outside. <laughs> it looks pretty blue, and it feels very hot. Already. Okay? Ooh. Ooh. All right, so let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for you with this person's energy let's see what's this person's energy turn the card what's this person's energy solo from gemini what this person wants to share this person has a blockage here let's see thank you holy spirit let's break that what's this person's energy towards gemini solo thank you by themselves please by themselves. What's this person up to? Are they coming by? Okay, let's see here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guys, Holy Sister. Okay, remove anything that is of the darkness, replace it with light for Gemini's. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. has a strength in reverse they have the page of swords the strength in reverse <laughs> they do want to conversate with you as well let's see here or they know that you do want to conversate with them but they are talking to other people but I feel like they know that they're gonna have to communicate with you but this person you're dealing with is someone quite younger and soul okay this person was coming up as a page of swords before and you know there was some force of jealousy here because there was a lot of gossip and um it's still some gossip within this person's energy and they're afraid to come towards you look at angel michael pushing this person to prove you know to to um to conquer this situation as well um and to give this person courage like push this person to have courage and get through this so, and this person is afraid within the strength in reverse or exhausted or tired. They don't have the strength to go on to do this. And they started this mess. This is what happens. Don't know how to finish the situation, but started this mess. Yeah. Okay. So this person, I'm definitely seeing that you guys are supposed to be in each other's life on a spiritual level. This is why this person is so negative. You have the King of Swords. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse for this person. You have the Magician in reverse. So Gemini, Virgo here, Major Arcana, Leo, Major Arcana. Um, again, negative forces, negative seeds planted, negative manifestation for those of you. Okay, this is why the, the, the energy is just so heavy. Um, this could also be spell work for those of you, okay? I, I hate saying that word, but it is what it is because it just came up in reverse twice. I, I shuffled the deck like how many times, flipped the deck like how many twice, and it still came out like this with this person and you. So it's like some kind of spell work situation is happening here that is not from a good place, it's not from good manifestation, it's not from the light, okay? And I'm also seeing that there is this energy in the past with this person, like they were moving in fear, but there is an energy of letting this go and releasing this energy because it's becoming severe and they just can't handle this anymore. But I feel like this person is not ready to communicate with you, but the communication, it seems like it's like they're being pushed into it or bullied into it for some reason, because this person is coming up as a page of swords. This is like the only communication I don't even see that because everything is just like closed offish with this person. But I'm seeing like this, you know, queen of swords energy that is still open. Like they know they have to communicate with you even though they don't like it. 
And if they don't like it, they, you might not get a good response, but you are coming off as nurturing. You know, you had that king, not the king, um, the strength in reverse, not the strength in reverse, the strength in the upright on your end, but this person has it in reverse. So the strength in the upright, I feel like you're going to take this situation and really approach it on a next level, like really calmly, collectively. You're not trying to yell or anything. And by this Queen of Swords even being here as well on your end and on this person's end, they're confirming that you're coming in as like, okay, I just want to hear what you got to say. I want to communicate with you. I want to listen and then I want to speak, right? So you're just trying to get clarity and closure. And this person is just not there. So I don't know how you're going to get that. I feel like you're just going to say your peace within this situation and this person is just going to bump their heads and act like they're listening to you, but really don't get it, you know? So, yeah, but I'm seeing the contract that you guys are supposed to be spiritually helping each other grow together within this life. So you do have a contract with this person. I did see the two of cups, but, you know, sometimes the two of cups, it doesn't have to represent a soulmate. It could also represent just a, a regular um, contract or potential love interest, right? Because you have many of those. You made sure to have many of those because you not everybody ends up with their soulmate, okay? That's the whole lesson here. That's the test of time. So let's see what we have for this person. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so you have the lovers. Oh, wow, interesting. The lovers here. So there's two different energies coming up. Then you have the king of pentacles under the strength. So let's see. Wow, you have the hermit. Look at how you're moving on, like backing away from this situation. Um, after the conversation, I feel like you're just going to get your words in. Wow, this person is a five of swords in the upright. So this is just dangerous. They don't want to communicate. Plus, they're the in it to win it energy. Like they're a scammer. They're wearing a mask. They just want to hurt everybody. They're upset with life. They're upset with spirit. They're upset with everything i feel like this person just feels like they had a bad card in life or a bad hand in life and they just don't want to hear it you know so this is very difficult for you to deal with someone like this when you are showing up as this like open heart chakra beautiful person and this person is making you really doubt yourself okay yeah, immaturity, the king of wands, a follower, someone that feels like defeated, something similar to the emperor. This person is not on a path of success. They're in a path of destruction, okay? Within the knight of wands in reverse. A follower, not a leader. That's what I'm seeing here. This is sad. All right, so we have the Five of Cups energy in reverse as well. <sighs> I just feel like within the Five, they're mad also about that you chose to accept the situation for what it is and you chose to walk away. Like they were expecting that you would have walked away anyway. Like they wanted you to stay and endure this emotional loss and this emotional abuse that they were putting upon you. Talk about selfish, right? Talk about, you know, really messing up with your health. A lot of you couldn't do this anymore. You were feeling depressed, feeling that anxiety, feeling like, you know what, you need to take a step back. And you made a decision within your heart to move forward, okay, and accept it for what it is. But I'm also seeing like this person is really blocking some form of relationship, this is another relationship that is coming up. And it's crazy because it's they're, you're both showing up as the upright. This person is having conversations with their friends and their family about the situation. So they know about this person. I mean, Gemini, this could be you. 
This could be in reverse as well, where you are the third party. Okay? <laughs> because a lot of you are going through this mirroring situation, right? Twin flame energy. Mirroring, shadowing, shadow work. So you're doing a lot of healing. This person is in your life to do a lot of healing. This vibration is way too strong for those of you who are the third party. If you are married to this person, then you know who you are because I did see marriage as well for those of you. Um, but I'm seeing like this person is with two people. They're with two people. And I feel like they, they, it's like, I'm just getting like, they're sure about this. Like this is the security. Uh, I just feel like they're giving both of you some kind of security, some kind of dreams. Like this person feels like they're wearing the crown right now because they're coming up as a king of pentacles, but they're, they're actually a follower, not a leader. So this king of pentacles is a mask is a mask they're trying to be masculine and act like they have all the power when it comes to the finances when it comes to money and i feel like a lot of you have been uh, like abandoned within this connection but after this communication i'm seeing like you're taking a step back from this relationship and you're going on a soul search and you're going to heal um you're going to take that advice within the temperance within the holy spirit about divine timing and you're going to take this time to work on yourself, okay? I feel like you are already know that you're an older soul, so this makes it easy for you to do because you're not kicking and screaming within this energy. This person is not seeing that. This person is seeing like it's just being becoming very easy for you. Like how could it become very easy for you because I gave you the five of swords, which is very constant vibration, and the five of cups. They ex expected you to endure this situation <laughs> to endure their negativity to ignore their um their mood swings okay tell me more wow all right so let's see what we got we have the ace of swords in reverse we have the four of wands in the upright we also have the seven of pentacles in reverse so clearly this person didn't put any kind of effort or investment within this relationship i do see like they do want a future still within the four eleven eleven being here i mean why it's like they want to get past this okay but with the ace of swords being in reverse and then you have the five of swords within this person's energy i don't trust this person from a clock a wall i wouldn't because this person has not learned anything about why you feel the way that you feel within this situation so guess what there's a second choice here there's a ch second ch chance that we rolled up on right rolling the dice giving this person a chance taking a risk a leap of faith right this is what this is knowing that this person is bullshit okay trash energy because they have not fulfilled your cup yet and those of you who have been with this person for quite a while, it's crazy. So if you are going to give this person a second chance, just know what you're signing yourself up for. And it's your, this person, if you piss them off or you're trying to get into their business, which you are right now, you are going to be hurt. You're going to be hurt and they don't really care. It's like they get off on how you cry or you break down or your sadness. They just feel like you love them even more within that negative space or of energy, okay? And I feel like I'm getting like you're releasing yourself from this, but some reason this person just weird to me because they're looking at you. I don't even know who is separated. This is a no contact read. The, th the third party is showing up as they're still sleeping with them. Then the two of cups is showing up like you guys are still sleeping together as well. All right, so you have the emperor. This person is very strong. And then you have, well, strong within their determination. And we have the chariot here. So we have Aries energy, Cancer energy, and Cancer energy again within the three. 
of cups, okay, the celebration. I feel like, again, giving me an energy of wanting to have a future, wanting to move on from this, but there's a decision that this person is not ready to make within the chariot. The chariot is in reverse, like this person is quite confused and they're moving forward with this energy. So tell me about the chariot, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify some cards now. The chariot, why is the chariot here? Because I'm so nosy and I want to know, why is the chariot here? Wow, the devil's energy. Woof, toxic vibration. You're dealing with someone that is very toxic. You're dealing with someone that is very um, into their own way. I feel like at this point, yeah, this person realized their failures and trying to get out of whatever they got going on or trying to do better or trying to lighten up some kind of environment that they have caused here. But you're still dealing with this energy of, you know, go, you know, how they were raised, their background. This could be addiction as well with drinking, sex. This could be drugs. This could be just gambling and just having a horrible relationship with money. This could be, you know, just hanging out with toxic family members and friends. And this is their life. You know, this could be that this person loves the street. They're addicted to the street. Okay. And it's like they want something better for themselves because they're realizing like, damn, you know, <laughs> This is, this is me messing up. But I feel like the reason why they can't give you what you want is because they have some form of addiction that they're trying to work through. Like they know that they're going to, it's like this, this is going to take a while. Like they don't feel like they should tell you to stay. I feel like this person wants you to choose to stay. Um, and they were disappointed that you walked away, that you made that choice to like distance yourself out of this relationship. Um... Wow. I don't know. I'm just getting a, a really weird energy from this person, honestly. Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus. All right. So tell me about this Page of Swords. Let's get back up here. Page of Swords. One card, Page of Swords. Wow. The Six of Cups in reverse. So you're just like really just... You just feel like this is a this a bad JoJo, bad contract. You know that this is a contract. You feel it. You have the Six of Cups. You know that it's a strong pull. You know that this was the most intense relationship that you ever had. And you just want this to be over already. So a lot of you are definitely trying to reverse this. This is looking like a karmic relationship that you're experiencing right now because you need to learn something. We already established that some of you could be dealing with soulmate or a twin flame connection. That is this a karmic situation that needs to be addressed or you're doing shadow work for some of you. It's like you're healing yourself from past wounds, from the swords, stabbing you in the back, from family members that you just, you know, you had to accept those because those were your family members that betrayed you, lied to you, deceived you, um, trapped you, tricked you, stole from you. And you had to like put that aside because your blood, okay. And this just, you know, it, you re this just really impacted the way you see people. And I'm seeing like, this could also be from past life situation as well. The same situation that you just did not want to experience. But you know on, your, on a higher level before you came here that you needed to heal from this to be able to move on with your soul, okay? To get to a higher place within spirituality. So... Tell me about the strength in reverse, Holy Spirit, this person's energy, the star. Wow, so there's going to be an opportunity within the universe that is going to help this person to come towards you. Even though they're tired, I feel like they're going to be led. So what's going to happen is that this explain the street card, where you're just going to meet up at places. Like, you're not going to plan it. It's just going to happen where you're going to bump into each other. And this is what's going on here. The stars are aligning to get you into some kind of environment at the same time. It's going to be great. It's going to feel organic. So you guys can actually communicate, right? So the angels are doing their part, okay? The stars are doing their part, but you guys have to do your part. So tell me about the queen of swords and why this is so open and this person is so not. The queen of swords energy. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. So they're saying that you changed. They don't want to deal with your bullcrap. So they're saying that you 
you're being too rough. Um, you're supposed to be a fem feminine energy and they're already a masculine or showing up as a masculine energy. And you are showing up as a masculine because your feminine is in reverse. Like you are not being feminine anymore. You're not being nurturing. You're not being kind. You are asking questions. The high priestess is in reverse for you. So clearly you are asking questions. But it's because you have a reason. You, it's because your faith is lost within this person's energy. It's because you've been hurt within this person's energy. They gave you the five of swords. You know, this person could have cheated on you for goodness sakes with this energy. And it's like no big deal. Why are you crying? You know, this embarrass you publicly in front of your friends, in front, in front of your family. So it's like this person loves a little bit different than you as well. I'm also getting the Knight of Wands. So there's attraction there. This person is attracted to you big time. And that's all that they're thinking about right now. Tell me about this King of Wands. I mean, King of Swords, Holy Spirit. King of Swords. What's behind this King of Swords? Oh, the Nine of Cups. Uh, knowing that you're everything to them, but they didn't get to, they, they feel like they kind of, they just messed you up. They messed you up. I feel like on, you know, on a spiritual level, this person does feel like they have wasted your time. You know, they have wasted your time within this relationship, within this connection. That's what I'm seeing here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. What's behind this? Nine of Swords. Ooh, one at a time, please. Nine of Swords. Ooh, the seven. Scorpio's energy is coming up. Seven and six, Scorpio, for those of you dealing with a Scorpio. But the seven of cups is mutual partnerships. Not mutual, but um, multiple partnerships, I should say. Multiple partnerships. Multiple competition different people coming in and out you feel like you know what you're just shook to that there is a constant vibration here within a third party because you feel like you have been dealing with this person you know not being able to give you that commitment that you always wanted um that promise to fulfill that promise that pledge to you that agreement that oath that they're not going to hurt you like you belong to them and this is why they're still looking at you within the two of cups or for some of you, the third party, the lovers is in the upright. So tell me more. Look at that, the transition. This caused the transition within the death, within Scorpio. Scorpio keys coming out here. Okay. All right. So you're saying that because this person had multiple partnerships, you had to end this situation. You had to end this. Like this, this is what they're saying. Like they expected you to stay and they were bitter and like... I feel like this person is thinking about you because the Six of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, it's a lot of painful memories there, but it also gives me this confirmation like um, unfinished business as well between you and this person. And this person is giving you this energy as well as like being really negative or bitter because they're still thinking about you and they're expected you to stay or to work this out even though i feel like they're just bitter because you left that's what i'm picking up bitter because you left look at that high priestess cancer energy for the devil or the devil oh my god the magician the devil is coming up for me capricorns but you have the high priestess for the magician in reverse. Like, this person is just mean to you. This is what you're saying. Like, they're just mean to you for no apparent reason, trying to argue with you within the relationship for no apparent reason. And you, this is what we talked about in the high priestess, trying to find out what's going on, being in their business, and they're the five of swords, so they're going to, you know embarrass you here curse you out publicly they don't care as long as they look good at the end of the day they're gonna make everybody think that it's your fault you are the one that is in the wrong um wow wow so and you're trying to find out like what happened why are you being mean to me tell me about this lovers wow so this is a passionate 
reunion. This is someone from their past for some of you. This happened very quickly. Twin flame kind of vibe. If this is you, then you know. Then you know. Because that's your energy gems, but you can also be the two of cups for those of you who met a certain way. All right? So this is the ten of swords. It's like, wow, ten of swords. It's like I'm seeing a lot of trigger here. I'm seeing a lot of things that has been let go or released as well within that energy. It's like that person, I'm just getting history with this person because they wouldn't have the ten of like a lot of stabbing in the back from this person, but I feel like they reunited. This is an energy that they got back together. All right, so, and they forgave each other. Something about the King of Pentacles. Oh my. King of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. This person is all about masculine energy. This person is all about wearing a mask and keeping you hidden and trapped and keeping you low within this energy. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit. Oh, so we have the five, well, that's the eight of cups in reverse. Huge regret to doing this. They have a huge regret that they let you go through this. They didn't fix this. And by time, it's like they're saying to me, because you had the energy of the eight of swords in reverse, like you were releasing yourself, your heart chakra was back on, like you were really like trying to like really let go of everything but yeah you need closure as well but you're trying to walk away from that you're not trying to make the closure be a big deal but you're so open to it anyways but i'm seeing like this person is like having a regret of putting all of this pressure on you not telling you the truth and having you just walk away and not stopping you they're waiting for you to return as well within this energy tell me more within this eight of cups Ooh. One at a time, please. One card at a time. Eight of Cups energy. Eight of Cups energy. Let's see. Eight of Cups energy. What is it? Oh, I got two anyways. Oh, my gosh. All right, so you have the King of Cups and the Nine of Wands energy. There was a lot of manipulation here. Like, who loved who more? Manipulating you on emotional level. Wanting you to stay, just like over here, how I felt. Like, they were mad because you walked away. They were manipulating you because you, you have a big heart. Like, you, you're you so ready for a relationship. And they're saying, well, you know, if you walk away, we, we will never know. <laughs> if you don't call me, you will never know. If you're not talking to me, you will never know. Like, and I'm seeing you making that decision to kind of, like, release yourself from this nine of wands energy fighting you're tired you're burnt out because of the emotional manipulation and i feel like this is the also the regret here so tell me about the hermit you'll have the queen of cups king of cups queen of cups yeah you are ready for something huge this is another contract that you're here to love each other as well on a different levels, like different levels of love. I'm not talking about obsession. I'm not talking about lust. I'm talking about love. Um, so it's like going through a lot of trials and tribulations together. But of course, you have a choice. You can take so much and your your guides understand that. Okay. But you're walking away on this journey for love. You're not even... Um, walking away because you're bitter you're walking away because you feel like it's time within the death you know within the number 13 for those of you who resonates with uh january uh 3rd or march 1st or the 13th of a month okay 13th on th on a month <laughs> or in a month um but you're ready you're ready you're doing this with love tell me about the five of swords <clears throat> You have, oh, the four of swords. That's crazy. Four of swords, five of swords. <sighs> My God, this person affected you so much that you had to break this off or you had to run away or you had to distance yourself mentally and protect your heart and your mental state. Like this person triggered you so much on a mental level. 
and you didn't know why this was happening. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Wow. Wow. So this person wanted you to leave the house or the money. This is what I'm seeing. Whatever you guys were building, they were like, you leave everything, you can go. I feel like they really said some crazy stuff here. They had another person lined up. This is about money. Protecting your state of mind. Yeah, a marriage that fell apart or some kind of foundation that was leading to a marriage. Okay, woof. There's a lot of codependency here. I'm just getting like this person is very much a follower. Okay, tell me about this king of wands. I didn't even have to try. Yeah, so this is someone that bit your hands. You know, you fed them, you built them up. They weren't nothing when you met them. And you built them up and they did this to you. This is what I'm getting here. So tell me more. Wow, so this person will be coming back to you, but this person is going to be taking their lovely time. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the tower in reverse here. Even though you're choosing to move on, this person is going to try to rebuild with you. But they're, yeah, they're, in, they're codependent. Like, something about you is giving me, like, money vibes. Like, you're in a better place than this person is, but they're wearing a mask. They're trying to act like they're on the same level as you, but you help them with everything. On the back of the deck, we do have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is having money issues or trying to receive some kind of information about some kind of opportunity, and they have not yet. So it's like they have not had the experience to kind of, like, push you to... To, to be successful on their own, you know, they're still not there yet. So I feel like if you leave this person, this person is going to lose everything. This is why they wanted to, this, this is why they wanted you to, they were giving you a five of swords energy, that fight and that embarrassment and really trying to push you out of whatever you guys have built together. Okay. They wouldn't be able to get that on their own. Right. Wow. So there's a lot of fight and control with this person. Like there's a lot of people coming at this person as well. I feel like on different sides, not just your side, like attacking this person as well. I'm seeing the six of pentacles. Is it the six of pentacles and six of pentacles in reverse? So this is just so unbalanced within the future energy, but I do see them trying to do better. But this person is a player. They're still not choosing to make peace here. They're being very decisive or just having you wait forever. Wow. This is intense. <laughs> this is intense. Oh, my goodness. So intense. All right, y'all. Um, let's see. I wanted to how this person feels for you i know that let's see who you come up as if you come up as a soulmate if you come up as you know or the soul contract on a different level or a shadow energy so all right so how does this person feel for gemini's holy spirit with love how is this person's feelings in the present moment for gemini's what does this person feel for Gemini's? What does this person feel for Gemini's? What does this person feel for Gemini's? Let's see. One more to shuffle and... Okay, let's see. What does this person feel for Gemini's? What does this person feel for Gemini's? Your energy at this moment for Gemini's. Ooh, okay. So your contract, that's all they're letting me in on. Like your contract, they're not letting me know who is who here. Okay. They want to, they're very attracted to you. Okay, they're coming in. This is what you don't see coming, rushing after you for some reason. The promises again, you know, you're waiting for this person to <laughs> fulfill the commitment to give you that pledge that promise that agreement that oath that they they made to you and it's coming up as the nine of cups in reverse okay this person is looking at the contract in reverse as well and this is only because 
there are so many bad things that have occurred where they could have caused within the relationship, but don't know how to deal with it. Okay, because you have Pisces here as well, where this person is going to make their way back to you, but they just want you to wait. They want to feel important. They want to feel like they have the upper hand. They want to have that ego energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm getting here. This is what I'm getting here. And it's crazy. They owe you that. But they're like on my time only. So, y'all, this is what I have for the first portion of the video. Um, I hope this does resonate and hit those of you with clarification, confirmation. Um, now, if it doesn't resonate, you know what to do. And to know this, know what to know that it doesn't, it's not going to resonate for everyone. These are all general reads. So throw out what doesn't and keep what does and make sure you guys are thumbsing up the video here to hit 300. Like I said, the winner on the other video will be posted on the wall and all you have to do is contact me at the channel name. All the information should be in the description box with my email address. Um, so yes, love you guys and I'll see you guys in your next one. Enjoy the little commercial and yeah. to the second half of the video this is going to be the energy poll for you Gemini so if this portion does resonate you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel as soon as you guys hit the, guys hit the 300 likes I will be selecting someone from the uh, comment section for a 30 minute free session with me for free all right so um, let's get into it <clears throat> and see what we have for the energy poll. Let's hope it's a little bit different from the no contact read that we just got into. I feel like I'm just gonna pull a lot of spiritual cards and see what you have as well within this read. So let's see. The sprinklers are on you guys. So take that in consideration. Just not connecting here. Let me break this. Let's see. Wow, something is not connected. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. <clears throat> Okay, so the first one is a three of pentacles. Three of pentacles showing up here. You have the two of pentacles as well in reverse. So interesting. We have the emperor that is flipped in reverse. We have the chariot in reverse. Wow. All right. We have the hermit in reverse as well. So last one we have the ace of swords oh my goodness all right so definitely feel like the energy around you is definitely like this is not what you want to hear this is not what you wanted this is just you, you you felt like once this person realized that they need to make some form of decision with around you like everything will come into play or be better but i feel like this person has just waited until it's too late I feel like this is someone that you were friends with at first or worked with because I'm seeing like they are trying to build with you. They're trying to work with you here or you're trying to work with them within the three of pentacles. But there is like this childful energy of like not wanting you to help, 
the situation and waiting for them to get to a situation that is just overwhelming and now they want you to assist and I feel like this person has failed okay for those of you this could this is giving me work vibes for those of you who are on a team at work it's like you have this problem, I got it, I got it, like, you know, an energy, like, I got it, you work with this person, you're on the same team, and now things have just gotten out of control here, and this person is just someone that definitely gets defeated or gets overwhelmed, and they are always having some kind of excuse to back things up, you know, they're just not taking responsibility for their actions, this is what I'm getting. <sighs> For those of you in love, this is crazy that you're dealing with someone like this because this is difficult. I feel like this person just, you know, tell you their sob, sob stories within this Aries energy or in their, they're in a dark place at this point and they can't think straight. I'm also seeing a confusion here, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, not knowing what path to take. And then I'm seeing the hermit in reverse, like, this is like a constant, like, pushing you at the wall or pushing you to your limit within this connection. And I feel like you're going to be pushed to be by yourself. It's like, you just don't want to be by yourself right now, but it's like you're being pushed that way. And some form of truth is blocked. Breakthrough is blocked. So there's no understanding here. There's no clarity. There's no closure within this energy pull, okay? The Ace of Swords is in reverse. Spiritual aspects is in reverse at this point. It's like they're still working on this person, like they're angel guides, but not yet. It's not the right time. So, let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so then you have the death card in reverse here within Scorpio, number 13, Major Arcana. You have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. What is this? You have the Six of Cups in the upright. So the, con the contract is still coming up as in the upright, you guys. Something just fell on the floor. You have the Ten of Cups as well that wants to make a debut as well. So there's a future element here. Like, uh, I want things to just go to be okay or to work out. But I'm also seeing a split. Like, losing a lot of things that was built together. This could be businesses or just the foundation of the relationship itself. And then you have the Ten of Swords. So, wow, a lot of Tens. Look at this. The Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and Ten of Swords. So a lot of you could be seeing Ten, 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 or Ten, Ten. Okay, angel number. Let's take this person wants a future with you. There's like so, it's like it fell right under the confusion, not sure where this is going to go. And this, I just feel like it's because they don't know where you're at. Like, they don't know if you want to leave. This is uncertain. Like, this is just, it's just, you're not on the same page. You're vibrating the same energy at this moment. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of loss here within the business or within the relationship. I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords, a lot of like stress, depression, I'm just saying, again, like mental triggers, a lot of the stabbing in the back, not being on the same page, not working together as well, like doing your own thing. Um, and this is just like triggering you a lot. And I feel like there's also something that happened here where you were releasing this energy and choosing to forgive and let go, let go of it and to heal from it. Because I do see like there is like this coming back or just like team being on the right page with each other. Like this is this is the goal. This is what you're supposed to be doing, learning the lesson from this energy. This is a lesson here within the three of pentacles, going to school. 
are working together or training. Like this person is training you. But this is also giving me like past vibes. Because you have the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups, Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy is also here in reverse. Like there's a stuck transition. Like no one has moved on on a emotional scale. But of course, of course, life on a physical scale, you have to move on a physical scale. So, and I'm just seeing that this person is giving you the Four of Pentacles. What is this Four of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? <laughs> what is this Four of Pentacles? Oh, what is it? What is it? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is a loss. Like, this person has spending issues. I feel like this person is trying to control the money, the funds, the business. Like, what is going on here? I mean, there's a loss here. It's like this person has money issues. This person is invested. It's like you give them power to do something. And you trusted this person with this. And I'm seeing like they made a boo-boo. Like, there's just a loss within the Ace of Pentacles, within the Ten of Pentacles. This could just be a relationship that you have given this person the masculine energy. You have submit to this person because you just don't want to wear that anymore. You just want to break. Sometimes you have to, you want to find that person to like turn over that masculine energy of doing things yourself, of paying the bills and making sure that everything is okay and that everybody's okay like you just want an assistant you want someone to take you know like exchange roles like some couples they have like okay i'll work this year and then you'll take off so you can have a break or i work this two years and then you'll take you know i'll take off the next two years and you work like so they they have like this balance you know but like i feel like you gave this person that control and they messed up the funds they messed it up. They messed it up. They messed it up. They got confused somehow. Tell me about this chariot. What is this chariot energy? Ooh. Or this could be a business deal that went just wrong. I'm getting like three cards, man. Okay, so you have the moon energy. You have the devil's energy. And you have the king of wands energy. Talk about masculine, huh? talk about masculine this person is stuck in something within the devil this person is so like like serious about this like they do not want you to find out about this there's like this energy of de determination it's like they are so like i just feel like this person is going to be willing to lie about what's going on here the mistake that you feel within your intuition gems it has already happened like you know it a lot of you are having dreams or visions like your angel guides are trying to show you what's going on because you're asking your angel guides like what is going on here what is really happening here okay like you have no idea what took place here oh uh, where's my deck that i'm looking for um i'm being called oh i put it over here i wanted to I'm going to use this as well. I'm being called to that. All right. So tell me a little bit, Holy Spirit, what's going on here? <laughs> what's the energy? Ooh, something has flipped. All right. So I feel like there is a split between you two, but there's like this coming back together, like this return. Okay. I feel like there is some kind of memories that you and this person does share. This is someone from your past. So this is... This is being confirmed. The past energy, looking back on this, like this person means a lot to you. This person has some kind of contract with you. Like you feel it, like you just don't understand it. Um, it's like I'm seeing a lesson here that you're supposed to learn together. There, there's a lesson. And I feel like it's in motion. This could also be one of this karmic um, partnerships that needs to just learn the lesson so the Wheel of Fortune can be in the upright again. But I'm seeing like it's full in motion. It's full in motion. So you're exactly where you're supposed to be. For those of you who are like, am I wasting time here? No. No, you're not. Um, 
because I'm seeing like it coming back together. All right. Memories. <sighs> like you're going through cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards for some of you. You're going through pictures, photos. Like you and this person has history. That's what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. So this was dis disappointing. Because it's not like this person was someone that you just met and they made the wrong decision to mess up what the foundation that you're going to build or you were trying to build, okay? I'm seeing a taboo energy as well. Mm. This was forbidden love. Like you guys had a hard time. This is showing up, this is showing up as some form of a relationship, okay? Or it's like, whatever this is, like someone didn't want you to work with this person, this, this someone didn't want you to build a relationship with this person, like you guys had a hard time, but you just couldn't stay away from this person's energy. You were drawn together. Look at the storm around you guys, the storm around you within this energy. It's like a lot of trials and tribulations, but you're drawn to each other. You constantly get back to each other. There's too many memories here. Mm, interesting. I like this, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> I don't, but then I do. All right, so you have, look at the intuition. Interesting. Follow your intuition in the moon. I feel like the Holy Spirit tried to give you like a sign, okay? Your sixth, your sixth sense, your intuition, your subconscious, like... It's, it's been there. Wow, there's an addiction, an ascendant energy, leveling, leveling up energy, promotion, progress. I feel like this is this is you. This is your soul. You know, I always tell you guys with the 333 energy, I think that's angel number 333, leveling up, ascendant master, like you are an older soul here for a soul experience to level up in the spiritual world. It's like you are, you're here to experience a certain experience so you can level up in the spiritual world. You can become something for someone in the spiritual world. You're, you're doing, you're, you're, you're doing a collective deed here. So it's not, even though you feel like it's about you within this body, it's not on a spiritual level. You're healing a lot of people with addiction, alcohol, um, toxic relationships. So you're going through that. Like you're meeting people that have addiction issues, or this could be you that are retired from alcohol or drugs, um, or trying to retire from being in a relationship that is very toxic, or you were detaching yourself from someone that is very toxic as well and you had to heal you are doing that for the collective and you are leveling leveling up spiritual spiritually i'm sorry i'm mumbling over i'm trying to get these words out okay <laughs> i'm trying to get these words out i feel like when i get them i'm so excited like i'm going oh my god <laughs> look at that there's a drinking situation here though it's either coffee, tea, water, I don't know, but I just feel like they're showing some kind of shot or some kind of brown liquor. I just stay away from brown liquor because you tend to, when you have a lot of those, you tend to like spaz out, okay? You know, like I tend to like go to sleep. I'm doing things awake, but I'm in my mind, I'm asleep, right? So, yeah. So just be very careful with this energy. Because I'm just getting drinks. I'm getting like a nightlife kind of vibe. I'm getting like bar kind of vibe. Like uh, like every day I'm getting addiction kind of vibe. Okay? So watch this energy. I just feel like for those of you who have overcome this and healed from this. And you know, it's like now these energy, now the angels are switching it. Where they're bringing a lot of people that are, that are fighting this disease. That this the addiction within your life. <sighs> Hold on. Listen, listen. Rose, there's somebody that likes you a lot. Passionate love. And thinking about you a lot as well. 
Hmm. Yeah, passionate love, deep love, um, respect, appreciation. Something about also going back to the past with you. This is someone from the past that's in this energy. Hmm. And this was forbidden for you. Like, no one wanted you guys to be together. This is what I'm getting. But for some reason, you guys are just, like, tied to the hip. Let's see what's going on and why. Wow, the two of, sword, the two of swords, the two of cups. <clears throat> You also have the Eight of Cups here, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Wow. In reverse. So a lot of you are having issues. Right now, I feel like there's a, some form of disconnect that's happening in the present moment. I mean, in the past, you already lost everything. You already lost the stability, okay? But this person in the present moment wants to be able to move on from this. They still think of you, think about you a lot, Okay, um, within the Six of Cups, energy is like they're always going back into the past with you. There's no apology because, of course, there's a prideful energy that you're dealing with. I feel like this person is just going to try to come in and, you know, act like nothing never happened. Okay, there is also a break in a bridge here. Like they're having this... Like they need to make this decision and they're just like really like trying to act like it's not like this is not the time to do that <clears throat> but i feel like it is but it's like they are so indecisive about this situation i'm also seeing the page of pentacles so it's like they're trying to give back to you within the situation similar to because i felt like i saw like this person was like giving me like this build up of trying to build back what they have lost that's what i was getting i think there's so much loss here and i feel like this person has a hard time taking responsibility saying sorry i think they owe you a sorry there's this walking away see coming in and acting like nothing never happened see this is what i'm talking about the knight of cups Scorpio's energy. Gems for those of you who are dealing with a Scorpio. But this is what I'm getting. Like, instead of saying, hey, I'm sorry here with the Page of Cups, and let's start off as friends. Can we be friends? This person is just coming in with, like, nothing never happened. As you walked away, you chose to walk away here within the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy, by the way. And now they're stopping you because they love you you love them and we all know that here okay all right um i'm being called what is my deck thank you holy spirit my deck will be in the description box you guys email me at the same tarot if you want to purchase a copy we still have a few more copies left all right so if you guys are interested, let me know. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, journey alone, hermit energy. You see, this is being confirmed. It's like they pushed you away to the point that you just have to go. This is the nine. This is being confirmed. Like you're just going to get that wisdom, that download, that divine download, that connection. Look at that, Angel Michael is also showing up here. Divine calls, Angel Michael, great protector, 888. This is no joke. So you feel like you were being attacked here. You feel like you were being attacked here. This devil's energy is a little bit too much for you. 
Hold on now. I'm seeing the Emperor, but what is this? Okay, but you feel like Angel Michael is activated. Angel Michael comes up when they feel like you're if you're in harm's way. <clears throat> like this angel removes any kind of spell work or anything like that. Like they fight for you. Well, he fights for you. He doesn't play. I mean, he plays other angels for specific reasons in your life, but he's shown up. Out of a hundred cards, he's shown up. So there, this is heavy. This is really affecting you on a physical level. This person needs to be careful what they say to you because I'm just seeing like plants and seeds, they're, they're activating it. I'm seeing like this person might not even know what they're doing because they're pushing you away in, uh, in the hermit. And that's messing with your spirituality. That's messing with your beliefs. <laughs> and Angel Michael is appearing to protect you and distant you from this energy too. Angel Gabrielle also... Angel message, dwell in the house of the divine, love Gabrielle. So you have Gabrielle here saying that to choose the light at all times. No matter what you go through, choose the light at all times within this situation. Within any situation. And that's the wisdom. That's the message that you're going on this journey to receive. And to practice that as well. To be in your solitude, to practice that. Wow. <clears throat> this is crazy. I'm just trying to get these cards ready because I'm going to do some clarifications as well. All right, so. Tell me more. Tell me more. Look at that. OMG. Confirmation. Didn't you have this? Hold on now. Am I tripping? Because I know you had Ascendant. Ascendant. Yes, honey. Look at that. Didn't I say 333? Didn't I say 333? Like, you are, some of you are angels here to experience a physical life. You, are, you want to help out the world, the universe, okay? You want to be a part of this journey. So, you know, this is very hard for you as an angel, okay? Um, and some of you might just feel like your back is heavy or you have wings or you're carrying wings because this is what you're used to. Like you're just, like you're, you're missing a part of yourself. Like you feel something in your back or you scratch your back a lot. Um, like you have wings, but you just can't see them. And I'm seeing like the angels here are letting you know like whatever you are going through, okay? Just know that you are able to master, to get into, to tap into any kind of power that you can. And I feel like this is why you're being attacked too because you're so bright. Your light is so bright and you can definitely tap into your strength even when you feel weak. You can tap into your ability, your gifts, your intuition to tap into other people's feelings or to tap into what's going on around you, especially if you feel like something is off or there is something against you, being worked against you. It's like you can tap into that off and on very easily, okay? You don't have to practice this a, a long period of time because this is already mastered especially to tap into spirituality because you are Gemini and then you have the Ascendant Master 333 angel number and then it says it here to level up and I feel like a lot of you are here to level up your angel but you you're here on a mission to level up into a new level within the spiritual world to do a certain job You want to become something more, which is so crazy <clears throat> and amazing. But this is because <laughs> you're going to have a hard time here because you're an older soul, well, older being, 
okay? Because the angels were created first than humans, right? So, it's like, <laughs> this is going to be very hard for you, especially if this is your first life, but this is not. You, you lived a couple of times. <laughs> you lived a couple of times. I'm feeling that within the cards. So, a lot of you are experiencing a sexual contract, okay? The desire, temptation. Remember what I talked about shadowing or mirroring energy? I'm just getting that again. Like something happened really quickly here within this connection. So now it's coming up as love. Okay? Something that is physical. There's a lot of negative energy around you, but they cannot win. And this is why Angel Michael was showing up within the situation. I was like, why is this coming up? Because something is, is happening here. But Gabrielle has the message for you to stay within your light, to choose the light only. To stay within the light, okay? There is a necessary end. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. And I was getting Scorpio as well, like <laughs> a lot too. But I'm seeing a necessary end, like a transformation here. Some of you are going through a new start or a new beginning, lesson learned. Like you have learned some lesson from this contract or you feel like, you know what, karmic lesson, I'm not going back to that situation. Separation or divorce. And I'm seeing a lot of like loss here. Like this ace of pentacles in reverse. This ace of cups in reverse. Like this person have really messed up. Whoever you're dealing with has really messed up. Okay, so one more please. Coming home, chariot. Wow. Cancer energy. Look at this. This person is going to be overriding. So someone is coming home to you, even though they're confused, because I saw that this person was confused, like they don't know which the path to take. Okay, look at that. This is why Angel Michael is showing up. 8528, wash your hands. There was some kind of spell work that was cast here. They want you to be able to let go of this, move on from this, remove this toxic energy, forgive yourself for any part that you have played within this situation. Forgive yourself from any part that you have played within this situation. Wash your hands from this. Or this could be the cross watcher, okay? I feel like you settled for some kind of offer here within this person's energy. I mean, peach rose, closed deal. I feel like this person gave you an offer that you felt safe. You felt like, you know what, maybe this person was going to take you as the number one, but then something changed. But this wasn't an offer that you wanted or you were expecting. There is also jealousy coming up with this and envy. So someone is trying to take your place. Someone is trying to be you and take your place. Someone is rolling their eyes towards you. You have no idea. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm being pulled to another deck, but let's see. I'm not being pulled to clarify. Three of Swords. Huge ego. Look at this. Toxic vibe, stubborn. 15. So a lot of low vibe. Oh my god, a low, a lot of low vibrations here. Somebody doesn't want me to tell you your message today because I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Can't speak. Mental and physical agony, number 10. You know, we talked about the Ten of Swords, and here it is again. This is about the past. This is about something that happened in your past. Look at the apology. What you don't see coming, huh? In the future vibes. White Rose, apology here. New beginning, young love. This is it's like this person is coming off as very genuine, very um, innocent with you as well. 
within this apology and this is what you don't see so this is going to confuse things because you're going to be like uh is this can i trust this <clears throat> the three of swords is here separation bad breakup sadness healing toxic vibes stubbornness this is why people don't want you guys together then you're out you're spazzed out like this person spazzed you out this could be a lot of addiction going on here like this person just really mess up your way of thinking or just mess up your your mind like you're just like really struggling with your mental health here and this is something that you are constantly trying to work on because i'm seeing like forgiving and letting go and forgetting closing chapters within this energy like trying to do this but then this 10 of this 10 energy this 10 vibration of mental and physical agony comes back in you can't miss see yourself you don't know who you are like you're losing yourself so your people don't like how you look within this energy they don't like who you became within this energy okay so let's see what we got because thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father let's see what we have here what's the energy for gemini around gemini what do you want to talk about for Gemini. What do you want Gemini to know here? It's energy pull. Ooh, something fell. What is it? <clears throat> An angel. Angel of love. Ooh, number 20 or the 20th of the month resonates with you, but it says angel of love. So lead with love, lead with that. Oh, one at a time, please. One at a time, one at a time. Oh my gosh. Don't want to see it. One at a time. Masculine energy. But let's see. Spirit. I feel like the Holy Spirit could go on and on with you. So many things to talk about. Okay, the Angel of Challenges are also on the back. Make sure you have your strength up, have your courage up, know that things are going to always happen because this is school. This is school. This is, this is you know, the experience um, for the, the, the spiritual involvement within your spirit, within your spiritual experience. So this is school. So you have to remember that, like you are taking a test know how to deal with your situations, your change, your transitions in a better way than getting stressed out, having to fit, falling into depression, anxiety, okay? Pray through it, meditate through it, practice your breathing because you have, a lot of you have anxiety. You need to breathe correctly. This is also about your four, for those of you your fulfillment so you're going to have a lot of struggles to get to that happy place this is what i'm getting it's not going to be easy for you your health is also a factor here number 16 your ancestors are also around you watching over you with this situation i'm also seeing soulmate oh wow angel of soulmate the 30th of a month or um yeah okay i feel like this is your angels, I feel like this angel, it, when I get these cards, it's like it's there to bring someone in. I feel like this person is saying that they're the two of cups for you, okay? This could also be a soul connection. You do have the contract with this person, so a lot of you could be dealing with your soulmate. And this is why this angel is also appearing, because you guys need help to get back together, to reunite, because you did have the love. This is about love, honey. Angel of love, that's your first card, but a lot of you are feeling ill or sick because of the stress that you're going through. I'm seeing a mask energy here. <laughs> like somebody's wearing a mask. The mask is finally being revealed here, number 45. I'm also seeing that you're receiving some kind of message or you're finally being anointed with some kind of activation of a gift, okay? 
it's like you're putting in, on that mask as well for some of you to see to see what's coming like you have this gift of seeing all right the gift of seeing so please know that don't run away from your gifts you wow number 34 it says in the world not of the world this is in the bible i love this statement it's in the world live in the world but not as the world okay so oh my gosh i love that every time i see this card it's like remember your mission don't get lost in the sauce <laughs> Don't get lost in the sauce, because a lot of you right now are lost in the sauce, especially with this mental agony. You are so focused about what's going on within the situation, um, the, the noise of the situation, that Angel Michael is also appearing to kind of like protect you from the situation because your thoughts are very powerful. And this person's thoughts are very powerful. And I feel like, like I said before, I just feel like within this energy, this person was doing something that they have no idea that they're, you know, they're, they're harming you. They're harming you. They could be saying something that they're not supposed to say, um, or talking about you with other people and with their frustration about you and they're planting this and it's like, they're saying it over and over. It's great to express yourself, but to say it over and over, it's like you're planting a seed within the universe. Okay. Listen, listen for truth. So number 36, <laughs> they're saying to, to be silent for, for a moment, just to be silent for a moment and hear what's going on around you. Seashell. <laughs> a lot of you have a lot of water-based energy within your chart. Okay, gems? It's okay to be that way. It's okay to be that way. Love this art, by the way. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm seeing <clears throat> transmission, heart transmission, the heart transmission. 3737 or March 7th or July 3rd. Wow. It's like you were, like, gone for a few moments. Like, your heart was broken. You have the three of swords here. Like you were going through some kind of heartache and it was severe and you needed to heal from this situation. I do see the mental agony, like you're choosing to let that go. But I'm also seeing like the three of swords here. Like you're still dealing with like forgiving that situation. It's like your heart was broken, but now it's being re, re, re what is it? Recharged, reactivated. <laughs> you're on again <laughs> and you're ready to like, embrace this you're ready for something more you're feeling it you're leading you're trying to lead with love and i feel like the first card for you was the angel of love okay then you have heaven sent Ooh. so you are on a mission spiritually look at this crown chakra activity so bright receiving gifts from the heavens dreams visions like you are at peace within something here is like calming you the hell down. It's like every time you ask yourself a question, it's answered. It's answered. Like you are so activated spiritually. It's crazy. So for those of you who made it to the stage, please pat yourself on the back. You are so awake. And if you are experiencing any kind of noise, look at you're tapping out the noise. This is why you had live in the world or in the world, not as the world, okay? Not of the world. So you're not doing the same thing. You're not being a follower. You're doing your own thing. You're on your mission. Hello. Remember that. And then you have angel of encouragement here. You're winning. 11, 11. Boom, ba boom, boom. Boom, ba boom, boom. <laughs> boom, ba boom, boom. A lot of you are having confirmation about that. Like you're on the right path, like you just feel good, like you are definitely disciplining yourself, like you've been lost for a while, but you are back on. <laughs> you are back on. All right, so let's see what the animal energy is, and then I'm going to clear up, and I want to like tap into this person's feelings for you. I know that they still love you, but I just want to see what they're trying to do at this moment, you know, in the present moment. 
what their thought process is towards you. Wow, the snake. The snake, the snake, the snake. Uh, it's like, I feel like you're going to have some form of new start here, like an opportunity, right, within the snake. I feel like the background is pretty dark, but you did have another snake energy, I, I remember. Let me just get this up because I want to see, I want to compare. I want to compare. So I know you had it, or maybe it was the other one. Nope, this is the, I know you had it. Maybe it was the first draft of energy that we got, yeah. But I saw the snake, and it's just funny how it's coming back up for gems. And it's like, you are in a dark place, but you're going to the light. But you just have to get through some kind of, you have to do some work first before getting there. Okay, you have the goat as well. You're going to overcome your obstacles. This is what I'm seeing for you, babe. You're going to overcome your obstacles. You have to believe in yourself. You are the goat. <laughs> You know, you are the GOAT, the old, the, what is it, the OG, the OG, yeah, something like that, okay, and I'm seeing like enjoy the ride or enjoy the journey within the frog's energy, take your time, this is a part of your contract, I'm also seeing that luck is on your side, wheel of fortune, so the skills are back up where it needs to be, look at that, they're saying to slow down, <laughs> You're going to be satisfied when you get there. Like you're going to love your your life. You're going to have the crown. Look at all these beautiful green around you. Like, wow. You're going to be in your solitude, your peace. Your tranquility. And then you have the coyote. There's a lot of jealousy around you, though. I don't feel like that is going anywhere. You have number 37. Okay, so July 3rd again is coming up. And then March 7th. Okay, you also have the 31st, which is March 1st or January 3rd. For those of you who resonates with the number 10, with the Wheel of Fortune energy, or BC in 1010, that's your confirmation. We also have six of a month as well, or the 10th of a month. We have the ninth, okay? And we also have a 16, well, number 36, excuse me, okay? So March 6th or June 3rd. For those of you who resonates with that particular energy, it's like with the possum energy, I just feel like you are always trying to, you know, avoid certain things, but you know, things come to you anyways. And I feel like that's what's that's what the deceit is all about, that's what the envy is all about, that's what the jealousy is all about. Like, no matter where you go, you're gonna always have this for those of you who are trying to transfer to another situation or have some kind of transition within work. Anywhere you go, because your your vibration is so strong, you are going to be in a situation, okay? This is going to come to you. You're minding your own business, and things are just happening regardless. So let me just pull this up. We're almost done, you guys. I just wanted to tap into this person's energy towards you, and I want to make sure that my desk... I'm about to do another reading for you. I hope you guys are enjoying the long videos. I know you like the long videos, and it really helps the channel to blossom as well. And I'm so happy. I guess we reached 70Ks, huh? I don't know if we're back up or back down, because the numbers were going up and down, up and down. Like, I was gaining, I was losing. I was gaining, I was losing. <laughs> That's how it is until it goes up. So I don't know if I hit it or I lost it, but I thought I saw it this morning. I was like, oh, we made 70Ks. Oh my God. So glad that we made it over another hoop. So we have two more hoops to go. 
70, well, three more, no, three more hoops to go. And then we're at 100 Ks. <laughs> and then the channel is registered, okay, with YouTube. Well, on another scale. All right, so thank you guys for even bringing me this far. I appreciate it. I'm just clearing out the space because I will be doing a reading right after this. So let's see what this person's energy is for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on for this person. What's going on for this person's energy? Holy Spirit, how does this person feel? How does this person feel for Gemini's energy right now in this present moment? What is this person thinking about for his Gemini? When it comes to their feelings, what they want to do towards Gemini. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> so let's see. They're not ready. Wow, this person, mm, they're not ready. The divine is saying that they're not ready, but they're coming through anyways. This is crazy. You have the Ace of Swords, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Temperance. They're not ready. Divine timing here, but this person is consistent. This person, not consistent, but persistent. Like, they want to succeed. They want to come in. They want to offer you something that they're not ready for. They are still learning within the Ace of Swords with their angel guides. This is also an angel card, Angel Raphael. It's like, please stop doing this to this person. It's like, let them know to slow down and to stop chasing dreams. Let me work through you. Let me work for you. Let me help you here within this energy. This is what I'm being told. The justice is also in reverse, and this is why the Ace of Swords is in reverse, because this person doesn't want you to tell you the truth, because they want to be successful with you. They feel like by telling you the truth is unnecessary, you're going to leave them. You're already at a tough spot within your connection where you keep coming back to each other. This is a cycle. Ooh, look at the, what? You see that? The Ace of Wands? <sighs> they don't want to tell you the truth. This is Libra energy for those of you. Major Arcana. Sag energy, Major Arcana, I'm just being nosy, in the future vibes, the Ace of Wands wants a new beginning, this is her past energy as well, you have history here, this person is very attracted to you, I keep getting that, and even with this King too, this King of Wands, they find you very attractive, they find you very attractive, and I feel like this is the issue <laughs> between you and this person. There is also a judgment call here. So this person decided this. And so the angels have called it. You're going to lead with lies, deceit. So guess what? Karma. Karma. For this person. And karma doesn't mean like, oh my God, this person's life is going to be, you know, is whatever they sowed, they have to weep. It's not that the angels are loving you more than this person because everyone is a collective with the spiritual realm. No one is better. It doesn't matter how bad you are in this life. I don't make the rules. Talk to the divine God about that. But that's the way, okay? So um, it's not like this person is like being, you know, punished or anything. It's just that what you we what you sow you have it has to be turned back around to you whether it's positive energy or it's negative energy the wheels have to be in the upright it like darkness is in everyone but you is you cannot you have to choose a path you have to choose where you want to go in life it's like you're going to lead with light and love or you're going to lead with bitterness and darkness so, and this person is choosing to have both, and they cannot because it doesn't happen like that. 
You can't have both. You have to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Help me, God. Okay. <laughs> Something about court issues for those of you as well. Like this could be a marriage and they're fearing the hell out of this court situation. So they're lying through their teeth. They're saying nothing happened that way. Nothing, nothing is like that. No, this is not true kind of thing. But this is decided. <laughs> and look at that. This is what's happening. This is the effect. No communication. Huge regret here. All right. And this person is just watching you from a distance because they're going to lose you. It's like a part of them knows this, you know? And I feel like their angel guides are like, this is, this is what's going to happen. This is the future. If you move in this way, you're going to regret this. This person is going to cut you off for good. You know, there's not going to be any balance here within Libra. You're going to regret this in the Eight of Cups looking behind your back, hoping that this person is going to come to you, run to you. But no, you're going to be waiting for a long time because they also have a lot of ego and pride and they don't want to put their tail between their legs. It's very hard for them to do that. This is why the apology is coming in so late. When I, when I picked up an apology, I'm seeing like the apology came in later, not in the present moment. So that was also shown up on the back of the deck, you know? So this person is just watching you, waiting, and they don't want to be the first one to have to say anything to you. This is interesting. It's like the Ten of Swords. Look at the mental and physical agony. Always showing up, even though you're trying to close chapters here, you're trying to forgive. Put this behind you. But as soon as you forgive this person, as soon as you let this person in, as soon as you forgive this person, as soon as you let them in, because there's a rebuild within the tower, as you can see. All right? Then you have the two of wands here. This person is going to give you a choice. They want you to choose them because they want to have the world with you. Look at the gate. They want to run into a new beginning with you. But you guys have to deal with a lot of backlash. The five of cups, this person making you feel disappointed or making you feel sad, making you feel isolated, making you feel like you're by yourself within this connection, okay? You have given all that you can. This is a five vibration, which is this is the adversity that you signed up for. But you don't remember that because you're in the energy of forgetfulness you're in the <laughs> you're in the that you know that gift of forgetfulness to be on here and those that it didn't work they're in the madhouse so be thankful that you don't remember okay they can't they, they don't know reality from scratch because they have they it didn't work some people just don't work for you know and i feel like some souls sign up for that too uh, so But yeah, there's a lot of, like, this person is, like, fighting until the end of time. Like, I didn't do it. <clears throat> it wasn't me. Kind of vibration. You know? The fools, they want to jump in. Look at this. You guys are still showing up in reverse. Two of Cups. They fell in love with you the first time they've seen you. This is crazy. I'm just being in this person's business. They're trying to give back, but they're so, they're not on your level. They're not there yet. This is why the Holy Spirit is like, this ain't the right time. Divine timing is at a must here. Divine timing is at a must, you guys, with this particular energy. Hmm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So we're going to just end it with a animal pull. Okay, you know what? Let's do it with these white decks and see what we have. I also wanted to do the animal pull since I just felt like we needed that. Oh, let's see. Ooh, the seal, spirited. Ooh, you are spirited. This person can't stand you because you're spirited. <laughs> Just like I said, you're gifted. You're gifted, but we already knew that, right? The moth energy, your ancestors are also all over this, protecting you because there is change and transformation. Just like within the butterfly energy as well. Focus on your dreams. This is important. Focus on your dreams, babe. Okay. Then you have the bat, your intuition. What is going on here? 
you're spirited, your intuition, like, again, you know, ascendant master, being an angel and coming back to have a, a human experience because you're trying to relate within the human experience. It's like being an angel, I mean, you you have sympathy and love because you're only, you, you like, you only see love within the spiritual realm, right? But, and even if you try to make a negative thought, it just goes away like that. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't linger like we are in the physical body and we have a negative thought. We linger on it. We make it bigger than it is. In the spiritual world, it's just a thought and then it goes away. You're, you don't hold on to it, right? So this, you guys are an angel that wants you to experience the physical, the, in the physical body. And I feel like it's for the collective, not for you. But it's kind of for you too, with your with your because you want to advance to another level within the spiritual realm. You want to do something else within the spiritual realm. So I feel like you're you're trying to get that experience under your belt, right? So, all right. So let's see. One more. Oop, two more. Okay, the Holy Spirit is like, no, girl, two more, and that's it. <laughs> you know, I make the rules here. Okay. I'm like, okay, okay, divine God. No, I don't question things. I just do it. All right. We have the rabbit. Something is approved and you're going to hear about it. So a lot of you might be trying to get some form of loan or some kind of house or there's something that you're going to get that you're going to love and you're going to hear about this or some kind of job that's coming in. Okay. This is a new community. I'm just seeing a group of people like congratulating you. They're saying trust in this group, trust within your intuition, trust in within, within this information. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. Just this one. All right, we have... I'm just frustrated, my love. I'm just frustrated, my love. Look at this. Some of you are married. Angel of marriage, or this involves marriage. The angels are coming up because this needs help. Or someone that you're supposed to marry. Like you thought this was going to be your life partner. Like this person wanted to marry you or you talked about marriage. Angel of avoidance, yeah. Yeah. Now suddenly they changed up and they're avoiding the situation, acting like nothing ever happened. I'm trying to come back. Let me in. They want to return. They want to rekindle the situation. They want to rebuild. This is a cycle, though. You need a new form of direction. Angel of emotions. Like there is like a block there or a wall there. Like you don't want to show this person how you feel. You're afraid. You want children, or a lot of you are feminine energy, and the angels are trying to get you back to a place of nurturing and just patience, okay, and warmth. It says, I still want to go with you, so you are planning something with this person, and you don't even know if this person still want to go on a trip or want to be with you, and they're saying they still want to go with you. All right, now, last one, and then we're going to close. Angel of children. So, yeah, someone is asking for a child to save this marriage or to save this relationship, or there is a child coming through, okay? This is related to some kind of child that is going to come through. This could You could be hearing about this, all right? This could be also some kind of news that is going to give you some kind of clarity, on the situation but this is what i have for you i peace and light to everyone um remember to thumbs up the video and all of that 300 likes someone will be chosen in the comment section all the information is in the description box and yeah see you guys in your next one